Hello, wonderful people of YouTube. It is Dash Dude, and today I'm doing a type of video never before seen on this channel. I am doing a comic haul video, as I'm sure you could tell by the title. This channel has in the past been mainly for gaming stuff, but I want to do comic stuff and I don't want to make a channel. Uh, for a little background on me, I have liked comics all my life, but I started collecting about two years ago and reading actively. Um, I worked at an LCS for a couple of months before I went off to school. So today I'm going to be sharing some books I got from uh, mainly local LCSs while I've been home for break from school. There's nothing too crazy in there. I am a college student. So, I cannot afford to buy crazy books. So, if you were hoping to see, like, a Wol not Wolverine, Hulk 181, which is the first appearance of Wolverine, lower your expectations quite a bit. It's mainly just cool covers that I can afford. But I really enjoy collecting comics, and I really like videos like this. So, I'm hoping that you can enjoy it as well. Also, sorry for the production quality. This is... Not the nicest setup, but hopefully you can at least see the books, which is what matters. So let's get into it. Starting with some books I got from the LCS that I worked at. Um, they had a little sale a couple of, not a couple, like a, a week ago. And I was looking for a couple of books and I found two. Um, won't be saying the prices of these books, but most were about cover. So first book is... Hellboy, Wake the Devil, number three. So, it's a very early Hellboy issue. It's notable because it is the first appearance of Roger the Homunculus, who is a pretty major supporting character in the Hellboy universe. I'm trying to go through and pick up a bunch of Hellboy keys. This is pretty much my start. I do own an X-Men 21, which is the first color appearance of Hellboy, which is a great book favorite book that I own. Um, this is a cool book too. It's not super crazy. I don't really think he's going to be in that new movie. Um, it's just a cool cover, cool Mignola cover. Um, so that's it for the first book. All right, let's keep it moving. Next up from the same store, we got X-Men number 24. Now, this book is cheap as dirt and super easy to find which makes sense because it's from that 90s x-men run so there are about a trillion copies of it but it is a wonderful cover it's rogue and gambit kissing by a uh, andy Hubert. really cool book you can pick it out really cheap i have no idea what the story is like probably not great but find it for the cover all right so that's it from the lcs that i worked at and then with a friend, I went to two other LCSs a little further out of the way. First one, I only got one book. That was this here, Superman number 53. I don't know anything about it. I just wanted to buy a book from there because I felt bad not buying anything. It was the type of story that clearly comics weren't the focus, which is fine. I don't think I'll be making any return to this, but this is a pretty cool cover. American flag. Superman. It really, it looks like it should be older than it is. It's a book from 91, according to the little triangle. All right, so now getting to the meat and potatoes of this haul. Move this aside real quick. I went to the best LCS that at least I've been to in my area. They have an insane depth of back issues. Really, it was it was great to go in there and just dig around. So I picked up a couple of things, mainly cool covers and first appearances of mine and characters. That's really where my collecting interests fall. So right off the bat, we got Action Comics number 595. It's first appearance of Silver Banshee. Really cool book for, you know, pretty cool character. Got a nice cover. Um, Again, it's one of those that you can pick up relatively cheap. And 
I don't know, maybe Silver Banshee will be in a movie someday. You never know. And it's a cool character. Cool first appearance to have. Alright, next up, we got Aquaman number six. This is a Mignola cover. It is nothing spectacular value-wise, but I love Mike Mignola. And this is the only Aquaman cover he's done as far as I know. It's very distinctively the style, you can tell. The monster men, very much something you'd see in Hellboy. And good old hook hand Aquaman. Very cool cover. I've been actually looking for it for quite a while, so I'm very pleased to pick it up. Next up, we got All New Adam, number one. Um, this is the first appearance of Ryan Choi, who was Ray Palmer's replacement for a little bit. He might still be the Adam in DC continuity. Not super up to date on what's going on there. Um, again, another cool book. It's a series I've been meaning to read. I actually haven't read this individual issue yet. Um, it's, it's a cool book and one that I had been looking for. And that entire series is one of those that's uncommon but not expensive. So if I like it, hopefully I can track down some other issues for it. Alright, next up we have Batgirl number 14 from the, I believe, 2009 run. Notably an art germ cover. An art germ that's, of course, been incredibly popular lately. I personally love his style. Very pretty anime style of girls. Um, this one has Supergirl on it too, which is very cool. Of course, now he had the bigger run of variants on Reverse Supergirl, but it's a pretty neat cover. Only issue with it is, I don't know if you can really see, but the spine is kind of really dinged up on this one, but that's fine. It's a cool cover. You're not really going to see the spine on it. All right. Next up, this is the only one that nothing is fighting is going on. Uh, Bruce G. Gold 24 from his first series. Huge Bruce G. Gold fan. He's one of my favorite superheroes. And I'm just trying to collect his entire first series. Making slow progress. Um, this is just an issue I was missing. Nothing super special about it. I think I'm about halfway done collecting that series. So that'd be a pretty big milestone for me. Next up we have Brightest Day number four. So, so kind of works doubly. It is a very cool cover. I have, I have not read any of the Blackest Night, Brightest Day stuff, but Black Lantern Firestorm looks sick. And it is the first appearance of uh, Jackson Hyde, Calderon, whatever you want to call him, the Black Aqua Lad that's in Young Justice. And with an Aquaman movie coming out recently, there's a chance that he shows up in a movie. Also, he's one of my favorite characters in that series, so really glad to pick this up, and it helps that the cover is super cool. Next up, got JSA number 81, an Alex Ross cover. Um, Alex Ross actually had a run on the JSA and Justice Society of America books, where he did these beautiful portraits of the members of the team. This is, of course, Stargirl, and this character has been the most popular she's ever been lately since she's getting her own series on DC Universe. Um, this is a character I like quite a bit. I actually have, I actually own all of Stars and Stripe, which is her solo series. Um, honestly, this is one that you can find for pretty cheap that might heat up as that series approaches. Just a really cool cover, and Alex Ross doesn't really do covers of weird characters that often. So, if you like any of the characters in that JSA run, uh, by mainly Jeff Johns, I would hunt these down while they are easy to find. Next up, a book I only really know about because of Alex the Comic Hoarder. This is Justice League of America number 12. It's the second print. Um, actually, I should maybe flip it that way. It's an Alex Ross portrait. Uh, it's not, well, it's not a portrait. It is landscape style. Um, 
They changed the cover for the second print. It's a really cool book. There aren't a ton of them out there. Um, and again, just Alex Ross, beautiful art. Got a bunch of cool characters in there. Definitely one to pick up if you can find it. All right, next up, Wonder Woman number 113. This is the first full appearance of, I can't even think of her name, Wonder Girl, the one that was in the Young Justice comic. Um, a character I enjoy, at least in the Young Justice comic from, I think, 99 or 2000. Unfortunately, not the best cover, but that's okay. Just a cool little first appearance of a character that is pretty much lost to the sands of time at this point. All right, so saved the best for last with these books. So this last one is the last book that I picked up, picked up from that LCS. It is Detective Comics number 647. So it is the first appearance of Spoiler, Stephanie Brown. Um, I don't, I think this might technically be her first full appearance. I think she appears in something before this, but it's the first full appearance of a character that has just kind of been kicking around the bat for her, since her creation. And it definitely helps that you have a Matt Wagner cover. Very interesting, not necessarily interesting, very cool. Um, this was the key that I picked up from there. Of course, it's not a huge key, but it's a cool book. And then last up, all right, you know, I'll leave that for you guys to look at for a second. So my dad also is a big comic collector. And a couple of days ago, I decided, well, I know how he stores his stuff. None of it is bagged and boarded apart from stuff that he bought in a bag and board. So I decided I would help him out and go through his collection and bag and board any stuff that was worth over like $25 or so. Um, and he has a bunch of cool books. And one of them I saw and I was like, well, I've been looking for this for a while. It's my dad. Hopefully he'll give me a good price on it. Um, so I offered him about the market value for it and him being my dad, I pretty much had to beg him to let me pay him for it. Um, but enough of that exposition. Let's just show the dang book. Superman Adventures 5. The first appearance of Livewire. The character that is really popular for how obscure she is. Um, she's only in two episodes of the first Superman Adventures series. She's great. She's voiced by the actress who does Tank Girl. Um, and honestly, this is one of my favorite modern first appearance covers. I think this is a way better cover than Batman Adventures 12. Because um, this, you know it's Livewire. She's right there in the front. Batman Adventures 12 Harley's kind of in the background. Um, this is a book I'm definitely glad to have picked up just a, a fantastic cover for a character I like quite a bit. So thank you to my dad for uh, letting me get this book. Really appreciate it. And that's it for the books that I have gotten recently. I don't expect these to be regular uploads since when I am at school, which is where I am about nine months of the year. I don't go to an LCS. I only go to an LCS when I'm home. Um, but I love comics, I love collecting comics, and I really enjoy watching videos like this on YouTube, so if you leave feedback in the comments, let me know what you thought of these books, that'd be wonderfully appreciated. I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much if you watched to the very end. Hope you liked the books, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.